Okay, everybody, this is Gavin back on this channel, and we're going to be playing Choices. Endless Summer, Book 1, Chapter... Chapter 1. This must be heaven. Adventures in romance await in the tropical paradise of... La... I can't pronounce this. Can... You can solve... Can you solve the island's mysteries? In case you don't know, or never heard of this book slash game series, is on choices. There's three books, or book games, or whatever you refer them as. Download the choices app, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Or just watch my video. I have played all three of those games. And they were fantastic. Hold on, let me just turn on my... Okay. I tried to record it a couple of times, but it just didn't work out. Is one of the first reason my phone on was on low battery. Now it's on a sixty-five, so that should be enough battery to last. And second of all, I tried recording this earlier, but fucking storage space. Like, oh my god, but anyway, enough of me talking about my attempts of recording. This is actually a very good book series. I have been obsessed with it in summer of 2018, but kind of, and my obsession had kind of died down ever since, I don't know, it's died down and I got back into it in November of 2019. I can't believe I actually remember that. So anyway. We're going to be playing all three books. We're going to start with the first book and work our way to the end. And the first one, which is the one seen right here, is actually my favorite one from the out of the three. Alright, so anyway. Let's fucking get started. Enough of me chitter-chatting. Okay. Let's fucking start. Choose a look. I'm going to choose that one, or I can probably get rid of that sound. Is I going to be reading? End note. I am not a very good reader. Or sometimes just don't know how to pronounce shit. Not the word shit. I just mean I don't know how to pronounce some words. So, bear with me. If I can't pronounce a word, I'll just skip it. So, anyway. No, my, my main is not Taylor. It is G-A-V-I-N. Gavin. Okay. Act 1, Chapter 1, This Must Be Heaven. Stay down! It's coming this way. Gavin, give me your hand. You don't understand, do you? Of course not. But you will in time.
you blink away the strange dream as your eyes adjust to the bright sunlight outside. I love this fucking music. But anyway. Wow. Your best friend Diego gives you a goofy snook from the seat beside you. Morning, sleepyhead. I'm st still not dreaming, right? Doesn't feel real, does it? But we're finally on our way. The creator of the 10 contest winners from your school fills the small plane. One magical week in paradise. Here we come. All expenses paid. What? What? Good thing too. I'm I'm so deep in student about it. I couldn't even afford instant. I will skip that right now. Hey, Gavin. Oh no. Hold on. Hey. You okay, Gavin? Bad dream? Just a weird. Just a really weird one. I dreamt about. About him? You instantly recognize the guy walking down the aisle toward you. You had a dream about Sean and Shane? I'm just gonna call him Sean. For now, I could be wrong. Sean, why? I can't pronounce his last name. Gwaley? Sean Gwaley? If that's how you pronounce it? But anyway, well, what are you waiting for? Go talk to him. Dio pushes you out into the aisles, right? As he passes by, you bump into each other. Whoa! Hello there! My friend Gavin here wants to say something. I'm not gonna tell him that. I'm not gonna straight up tell him that I drummed about him. I'm just gonna say. Ever wanna hook up on the airplane? Fuck it, why not? You know it's on my bucket list. Oh yeah? But I might have missed my chance. I think we're landing soon. Blah blah blah, I don't give a shit about tutorials. I played this game so many fucking times. John shoots you a snarl as he slips by. Oh man, got the whole thing on video. You've got to see, got to see your face. Huh? Weird. It is 5:15. We we should have landed an hour ago, and it didn't feel like you would been snoring that long. Hilarious. I'll go ask the pirate if something is up. As you make your way forward, you pass by the other student talking loudly over each other. Excuse me? Will you please shut your body? body? The tour guy is trying to spay! Thank you, Alistair. As your tour guide for the for the week, I just want to dis I just want to say that we are all 
we should all try to, you know, be friends. It's an island after all, so you're kind of stuck with each other. Hee hee hee. Is it too late to jump out of the plane? The pirate has his combat boots kicked up in the da on the dashboard. Excuse me, it's Jake, right? Weren't we supposed to have one by now? Landed by now? Wait! Are you a sweet? Pardon? He opens his eyes and looks back at you instantly. instantly. You recognize his face too from the same bizarre dream. I already saw that, so I can just skip that. Listen, boy, don't you know it's rude to wait someone who's trying to take a map? Boy, boy scout? I probably forgot that, to say that. But anyway, what I can Say, what can I say? I give nicknames to people who annoy me. In that case, I'm calling you. I'm not calling them partners. Is not to be homophobic. I'm not gay. I'm just gonna call him Top Gun. Top Gun, hey no, you can't be giving nicknames. That's my thing. I don't know. I like it. I... Might... I don't know. I like it. Might keep doing it. You ain't clever enough to keep aiming. Keep them incoming. Takes what to be as good as me. Anyway, we wax. We ain't landing until... What the hell? That tie ain't white. And... That ain't white either. He... What? The internet panel on his back a few times. Are you sure you know what you're doing? If you know half of the... Things I have survived... You would bet on me to get you through any f out of nowhere. Hammers the plane. You're thrown into the walls of the cockpit. Ah! Oh, great! The storm front coming in quick. He lends and grabs the yoke. Get your ass in a seat here and tell everybody to buckle up. But now, Boy Scout! This music is fucking awesome. Let me turn it up. Okay, that's about. A dark crowd close in around the plane. Just walking side to side, everyone starts shouting. Oh god, I'm really regretting that airport Chipotle. I think that's what it is. Chipotle. Hmm, I never actually ate at this place before. Don't puke, bro. Well, if you puke, I'm gonna puke. Where the hell did this story come from? It was a queer day. It happens. Oh, 
It happens, okay? This is totally normal. Yeah, sure. That looks normal. Outside walls of orange electricity. Out of the dark sky and exploded in a cracker of sparks. It looks like ball lightning, but I have never seen anything quite like this. This is all long. I can't die here. Surrounded by these morons! Everyone, just breathe! We're going to get through this! Oh god! Oh god! A blustery crack of thunder defines you as lightning strikes. The plane sports fly in the cockpit. Well, engines... Just lost power. We're gonna look down manually. Everyone, hang on! The shout can grow louder as your crashing start to panic. All except one. A girl with a tight ponytail and a long scar across her eyesight. Alone in the back row of the plane. Silent and un... I'm gonna skip that. Gavin, safety foot, find a seat. You look for, for an empty space around you. Okay, we got two choices here. We can either go with Sean or Gwen. I'm gonna go with Gwen. You tumble into a seat beside Gwen as the plane watches violently. Gwen's face. Is down tight, refusing to work. Look at me if I quit talking for a little bit. <laughs> Just breathe, it'll pass. This can't happen, not yet. It's too soon. Quinn grabs the on wets tightly, her chest rises and falls shallowly as if she's having trouble breathing. Take a hand or tell a I'm gonna honestly take a hand because I'm a fucking gentleman and I'm not a s and I'm not that fucking stupid, especially in a situation like this. You rest your hand gently on hers on to on top of hers. My bad. I'm here, you're not alone. We'll be okay. I'm good with girls. I. She relaxes and lets out a deep sigh. When she opens her eyes, they meet yours. Thank you. She offers you her hand. You take it. She smiles sweetly and it somehow makes all the shouting and a wand to fade to the background. I'm Quinn. Gavin. Just a little f further. I think we're almost out. Just as lightning reaches a few fuel pitch, the plane goes out of the clouds into clear skies. Woo! 
we're alive! Gavin, what? There it is! Get a good look now, because we're coming in fast. Welcome to... Well, I can't pronounce this. End with Summer. Probably my favorite book from Choices. The plane sinks toward the gorgeous barren island at its center of volcano rises above the rainforest, weaving a light column of snow. Tower. This is the tall. This is the tail number. X C. No, X C D M K. Requesting a mercy to win. Carlos, pick up. You lazy bastard. It's Jake. Ignoring me won't make me forget about forget the hundred bucks you owe me. Like it or not, we're coming in. The plane lands on a dirt air on a dirt air strip. My bad. At the edge of the island, pulling in the into a hangar. Hunger. My mind. Hunger. 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 <laughs> you step down the stairs into a warm tropical sunshine. Rough landing, Top Gun. Hope you don't look for tips. You kidding? I'm a damn hero for even getting you on the ground. Carlos, I need a turn up. Carlos! As Jake marches off the west of your group, pulls their luggage from the plane's cargo bay. This island is supposed to be one of the most beautiful places on earth. The beaches, the waterfalls. It's also a home to that aura of where aura and I can't pronounce these. Only ten sports on the trip, and they. Had to give one. No, I mean my bad. I I'm saying it the wrong way. Only ten spots on this trip, and they have give one to this door. You reach for your suitcase. Handle. Just as Sean does. Oh, sorry. If you want to carry my bag, go go right ahead. Oh my God! Could you be more desperate? A pretty girl with heavy makeup drapes oh, her arms around Sean. People like you hovering. Around the spot like like moths. Spotlight? What? Yeah, right. As if you know, if you don't know who Sean is. Seriously, our super ball. Our, I need superstar quarterback. The foot one, foot turner. Front turner. Oh my fucking god. Gotta get better at my grammar. Guys, it's cool. Chill out. Look, Sean. 
What? Sean doesn't need any f f doors hanging around. Got it? You know, I am gonna be the nicest person. I'm just gonna s go for the generous choice. I, you, well, yeah, thanks. You're white right on both counts. Michelle now likes you. Some people think she's a bitch. But, I don't think she's that bad. We're, we're in reality, Michelle. Remember, in reality, we're not together anymore. As Michelle starts arguing with Sean, you back away. You, your foot quint, quint on something. Huh? What is, what's that? Is that a trans Godzilla dot? Trans Godzilla dot? Is that how you pronounce it? But anyway, I know what to do. Play this game fucking numerous of times. The valve's nearly empty. It must have hit its target. Yeah. It's. And it's. Hold on. Yeah. And this is a pretty big. It does. Whatever animal they took down must have been huge. You mean if they took it down? You look up and see someone watching you from nearby listening to your conversation. Hey, Diego, who's that? Don't know. Got eyes for the mysterious hotties, huh? There's something off about her. What gives you that idea? She's too quiet. Quiet? So what? Uh, I'm quiet. Well, when I'm not around you. I guess you're right. I don't know why I'm being suspicious. Huh? Well, there's... There is one thing. What? We are told that 10 students from our cars had won this trip, right? Obviously, we were not counting the pilot or the gu guide, but count us off. She makes 11. You look in the girl's direction once more, and this time she staring directly at you, back at you. Your eyes locked. You try to look away, but for some reason, you can't as if she's pulling you in with her glass Please. hey we are where the hell are your people Jack storms back at the last silent girl looks away the sh strange hold over you shake it off. There is nobody here. You look around. And your group are still the only people around the ish strip. They should be here. 
in a shuttle to take us to the main resort, but I'm sure that is just a slight delay. No need to. F they will be here any minute. The hell with that. I'm going up to the control tower to get some answers. What do you think is going on that in going on there? No idea. Call it a gut feeling, but whatever. It is. It ain't good. So, Boy Scout, you're coming or not? I could go if you. Wasn't asking you. Maybe Lennon? I can't pronounce that. I gotta stop saying that. Um, okay. I guess the rest of you, please follow me. I will take the short. We'll, we'll take the short walk up the hill to the whistle. Sounds fun, right? Yay! I'm um, Gwen. And when you we pronounce that on um, Quinn, where are you going? Quinn is skipping past Leah, unbuttoning her blue booze. Oh my god. Some of us want to explore the beach. Oh, little foot. We'll meet you guys at the hotel. Oof! This button's stuck! Gavin, could you help me? Oh my god, I'm gonna see some boobies. Oh! Sure. <laughs> the look on my face. Gwen draws close to you, and you help her undo the last button. She slips out of the top. Yep, there goes the boobies. Ah, that's better. You are coming to the beast with us, right? Whatever. I'm going. I'm going to go to the beach with Quinn. I mean Quinn. Quinn. I gotta start pronouncing shit right. I suck at my grammar. But anyway, I know this is not gonna be a perfect video, but, you know, I'm doing my best here. And yes, I don't need to put use my diamonds because I played this game. A Moo Moo is the times what I previously doing that show. I had unlocked sun stuff. You slip off your shoes and step onto the beach. The fine smooth sand warming your toes. Ah, oh, that's nice. Quinn twirls across the sand, laughing. This must be heaven. RJ spreads his arms and falls back with, into the sand with a deep sigh. Yep. I'm just staying here all week. I am never, ever moving again. Could someone get me a beer? Isn't this wonderful? It's like our own private paradise, Gavin. Yeah, this is our turf. Gwen bounces over to you. Isn't this magical? It's almost like we have the whole island to ourselves. It is so peaceful, and the water looks amazing. I wish we could could go swimming. I actually got to swim in clear water 
this summer in the Bahamas, actually. Who says we can't? I mean, who says we can't? Quinn grabs your hand and leads you out into the water. Come on! Hope you're a good swimmer. I'm pretty much an Olympian. Good, because I'm not the best at it. So if anything happens, just carry me back to the beach and give me CP4R, okay? Sure, I'll be your hero. Yeah, I'm so fucking good with girls. You strip down to your bath bathing suit. Ba no bathing suit. And the uh, no, the water is warm and welcoming. It's not a thing. Currents curling around your legs. Are you always this? I'm going to skip that. Quinn's eyes come to west on the horizon. No, I, I wasn't always like this. But after last year, I've tried to make the most out of every day. Gwen falls silent. Shh. I'm going to ask you what happened. What happened last year? Let's just say I was very afraid, but I don't have any to worry about anything. Eh, worry about that anymore. But then her eyes light up. And she points at something swarming around the water. Gavin, look! Something small, dazzling leaps out of the water. And unfilled wings that gleam like jewels. Whoa! This game is so fucking magical. I recommend it. You should fucking play it. This culture flutters in front of Quinn. The... I'm gonna sk wings catching the sunlight. Then it zips off into the distance. Did... Did that seriously just happen? Have you ever seen anything like that? This iron must have species we have never even heard of before. Gwen turns back to the sh shore. Guys, did you see that? Uh, who cares? Do you see this? Gwen is sorely bearing. A snowy bear Audrey around under a pile of sand. Ugh, everyone else already went up to the hotel. Come on, let's catch up. Who's gonna carry my bag? The others start to head up, leaving you and Gwen behind. As the surf, the surf swirls around you. I can't believe they missed it. It was incredible. You and I are the only ones who saw it. It's almost like we shared a secret. She looks 
at you for a long moment of laughs. Quinn, I like you. I'm glad we're, you're with me, Gavin. Oh, Me too. You and Gwen head back up the beach and get dressed. Put on some fucking clothes, Gavin. In the distance, you notice Jake heading t toward the control tower. At the end of the airstrip. Carlos, where the hell are you, man? Okay, Gavin, we're gonna catch up with the others at the hotel. What are you gonna do? I guess I'm gonna... I guess I'll go with Jake. Because why the hell not? I'll catch up with you later. I'm gonna help out Jake. You jog to catch up with Jake. So, it's cool if I join you. If you ask permission for any f everything. Come on, Boy Scout. Okay, it's one in the morning now in my area. Anyway, together, you're, you still... Which... What's the stairs of the control tower? The Wayne Forest crash is out before you and this place is gorgeous. Do you fly out of here what top gun? Here and every other privately Owned resort island in the Caribbean, the vacation sport spots for the young and privileged. You, you don't sound like you like it much. Hey. It pays the bar tab. What gets anyone into necessary anything necessary? Like I had a plan playing a pirate's license. Discharge and an empty bank account. What is this anyway? 20 questions? Sorry. You fall silent, but Jack continues on his own. Look, I'm from Louisiana. And if I'm feeling... Which jerks around a couple of week times a couple week a couple times a week. Or well, one we refrain and if feeling which jerks around a couple times a week, it is the price you I gotta pay to to never set foot back there. Hell, I'll pay it. Been sweeping in a beach hammock and kissed the weaker every ever since. My bad. That sounds magical. Willie, you're into it? Why do you sound so surprised? I don't know. Most people think it's weird. They want to be. They want the big house, picket fence, two kids playing in the yard. 
I'm not most people. Jake looks at you. He really seen you for the first time. No, Boy Scout. I guess you're. I guess you're not. You continue to climb the tower stairs when a step cracks into ben, in, beneath you. You start to fall through. J Jake! Jake reacts instantly, grabbing you and pulling you into his arms. Gotcha. The rest of the metal step draws as the punch. 30 feet. feet. 50 feet to the ground. I think you just saved my life. <laughs> Work on his fate. On my face. Now, you own me one. Come on. Finally, you reach the top of the tower. Jake pushes open the door to the control tower. Carl's, you dumb. Hey, what's that? There's no one here. Thanks, eagle eyes. I can't. I couldn't tell. You're wandering by the decks and drag your finger across it. Comes up dusty. Are you sure they still use this ear strip? Of course, I'm sure. I was just here a few days ago, and I'm damn sure. He twirls off. Jake? You turn to find him, staring in past you through the window by what he sees. In the distance, the island itself pauses with a red and blue white colors fluttering over the trees, tinting the the atmosphere and wiping a, a war. Making a no how to put no shit. So soon. What? On one view. Touch the grass as if mandatory drawn in, drawn you drift toward the window by the beautiful colors in place on the grass. What? What is this? What you up? Your eyes and look again. It's gone. Jake. Do you see that? What was that? Jake thinks. Still dazzled. Jake. Jake for steak farm. Uh. Don't know. Not much. Can neither. Come on, ain't nothing here to see. Jake ducks you out of the control tower. He hesitates a moment, looking back to see whether the Aurora returns. But everything appears as it should.
You and Jake, when do we wind your way back to the pole? Globe. You begin. When you come around the bend and see it. So. Is it uh, been this iron filthy time? 50 times? 50 times. And never been off the airstrip. The cousin I don't know how to pronounce this. Well. Come on, then you paid me to bring you here, so that's what I'm doing. You head toward the wabi, passing under a long mountain overhang of the white nibble. nibble. So, you've seen actually stay here. Are you just talking? off again after this or are you really or are you really gonna stick around for a while just need Carl's to get my plane refilled and I am and I'm off got a bottle of calling my main back in Costa Rica Try not to miss me too much, Boy Scout. Okay. And you freeze. Huh? What the? The rest of your group is standing in the front of you. You beyond them and entire lobby of devoid of life. I I don't understand. The science of the, the, I'm just gonna skip that. On the table, half finished wine glass gathers dust. Hey Gavin, do you know what? Ga hey, hold on. Hey Gavin, uh, do you know? Do you? Happen to know? Where the hell is everybody? That is it for this gameplay, and I'll see you in part two.